Never Stop Learning, week 117. I'm going to give you a quick look at my first look using Adobe Audition. So I do some of these screencasts and I'm never really too happy with the audio because I don't have a studio or anything like that. So I figured since I do have the Creative Cloud, I might as well use Adobe Audition to help clean it up a bit. So as you see here, I'm in ScreenFlow. This is the one that I actually use to create my screencasts. And once I hit play, you're going to hear this uh, audio file before it was cleaned up. So I'm getting ready to hit play. And make sure you have your headphones on so you get the full effect. All right, I'm ready to go ahead and now. For more information on the projects I'm working on, all you have to do is look up Sebastian Bleak. Or you can head over to my website, SebastianBleak.com. And at the top, you're actually going to find a link that says Artwork. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to my WordPress site. And on here, you'll see all the different projects I'm working on along the top. Great. So the problems that I had with uh, that audio file are that in the beginning, you hear some noise. And towards the end, you hear some phone ringing. Now, I don't really expect to be able to get all the phone ringing out in my first try. But I do want to reduce some of that noise. So let's head on over to Adobe Audition. And all I'm going to do is go to File, Open, and in my folder, I have this audio file here. I'll click on that once and hit Open. So this is before any of the repair was done. As you can see here, this coloring towards the middle right here, this is actual noise. Wherever it's black, that's silence. And I've actually learned to recognize um, where the ringing would be. And it's actually these lines, these horizontal lines right here. So let me just uh, skip the playhead over here towards the ringing because that's what I'm going to try to tackle first. I'm going to go ahead and hit play right now so you could hear it going. It'll take you over to my WordPress site. And on here, you'll see all the different projects I'm working on along the top. All right, so that's pretty bad. Again, I don't expect to get it all out of there. This is my first try at it. But I'd like to see how far I could get um, playing around with this for the first time. So all I'm doing is zooming in. And I'm seeing these horizontal lines here. So I'll come back and make sure I have this little, uh, this tool going here. It's mark tool, marquee tool selection. And I'll click and drag over these horizontal lines. I'll go ahead and delete that. And I'll click off. Now let me zoom out a little bit. And I'll go ahead and play this section. I'll bring the playhead back here. I'm going to hit play now. WordPress site. And on here you'll see all the different projects. I'm so you saw this first section of ringing was actually gone. Uh, I'm going to go back to the open state so you can hear this portion again. Now pay attention to this area here. I'll go ahead and hit play now. A WordPress site. And on here you'll see all the different projects I'm working on along the top. And there it is. I'll bring that change back where I deleted that first ring. And I hit play now. WordPress site. And on here you'll see all the different projects I'm working on along the top. All right, great. So this part is actually a little bit more messy. Um, I'm going to bring my marquee tool in here and I'm just going to try to section off any of these horizontal lines that I see here. So I'm going to delete that guy. I see another one here. And the, the deal with the horizontal lines is uh, because it is a man-made object, um, some kind of machinery, it's going to have more of a blocky look to its sound. If this was actual like people talking or something more organic like that, you'd see more wave going on. So let me see, and I think I see one more tiny line here. Anyway, I know I'm not going to get it all out of here, but I'm just trying to get out as much as I can. I have all these guys deleted, and now in order for me to play back, I just had to de deselect that. So let me go ahead and zoom back out again. I'll bring my playhead over here, and I'm going to hit play now. WordPress site, and on here you'll see all the different projects I'm working on along the top. Great. So now you were able to hear, I was able to remove that uh, entire ring pretty much completely. Uh, it did distort my, my voice a little bit, but I'm sure somebody that has uh, more experience at this than me would be able to clean that up all the way. All right, so next I'm going to take care of the important part. This is a section that was actually bothering me the most uh, because I have ambient noise going all across my sound. So in the beginning, I actually left some blank space here so that uh, my screen flow would actually record some noise. And I'll show you why that's important. I'm going to come over here to Effects, and I'm going to look for Noise Reduction Restoration. I'm going to choose this option here where it says Noise Reduction, and then I'm greeted with this panel here. So the first thing I have to do, there's even some instructions here. Uh, the first thing I have to do is actually 
select a little marquee area here of where there's no voice but there is that ambient noise in the background so next I have to come over here where it says capture noise print uh, when I click on this once what Audition is doing is it's actually analyzing this and figuring out where the noise is going on uh, all kind of frequencies and stuffed its way over my head <laughs> so now that it's done that I'm going to extend this marquee across my entire audio file because Audition already knows what noise is now. Now I want to tell it to remove that sound from my entire clip. So if I were to hit play right now, for more information on the projects I'm working on, all you have to do is look up Sebastian Bleak and you see there's no noise at the beginning of that clip. Let me run the playhead back all the way. I'm going to come right here to this power button. I'm going to turn off this effect. I'm going to hit play so you can hear the ambient noise in the background. For more information on the projects I'm working on, all you have to do is look up Sebastian Bleak. And one more time, I'll bring the playhead all the way back. I'll turn this effect back on and then hit play. For more information on the projects I'm working on, all you have to do is look up Sebastian Bleak. That was awesome. So in real time, I was able to make that adjustment really fast. All I have to do now is click apply. Audition makes all the adjustments for me. And when I deselect, you see my updated graph here. I got some good contrast and all the noise has been reduced. Now that we got this looking really good, I'm gonna head back over to ScreenFlow. And now I'm gonna play that clip for you again with the updated audio. For more information on the projects I'm working on, all you have to do is look up Sebastian Bleak, or you can head over to my website, SebastianBleak.com. And at the top, you're actually going to find a link that says Artwork. If you follow that link, it'll take you over to my WordPress site. And on here, you'll see all the different projects I'm working on along the top.